Hello, my friends. Mona here with The Legal Green Room, where you and I cover the interplay between law, entertainment, pop culture, everything that our generation just cares about. And speaking of our generation, we are definitely the go-getters. There is no doubt about that. And we've been told time and again that you know, our devices between our little fingers of ours are there a little too often. Well, we're just trying to make our lives a little bit easier, right? So many of us have thought about those app ideas. I know you've got that list out there. You've got it somewhere on your computer screen right now, or if you're totally old school, it's somewhere in your attic, locked up in a box. Well, it's time to bust it out now, guys. I'm going to help you get the legal know-how on how to protect your app idea to help it become the latest trending story. So as we've discussed before in this whole series, we're talking about how to protect your idea. Can your idea be copyrighted? We've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. That idea, that cute little thing inside your head, it cannot be copyrighted, guys. Your business idea, your app idea cannot be covered when it comes to copyright. Copyright only protects a creative work of expression that's put in some kind of form that can be copied. So since the idea is still in there, bring it out because then it can't be covered. So what can be covered then? Well that logo, all right? So the logo and the design, the app icon that you're gonna be creating, that can definitely be covered because that's now a creative work of expression that someone can copy down the line. So you're definitely covered there. Now, as you go forth into the app development, you're gonna develop your source code. That's integral, that's key. As you start to develop your app, you're gonna create this thing that is the blood and the brains and the glory behind your app. It is makes your app what it is. And so that, under the law, it's pretty interesting. The law actually deems it a literary work. So it's now an artistic form. And like we said before, copyright covers art. So it's in artistic form, it's in a form that someone can end up copying. So that means copyright completely covers your source code. But remember, we've said it before, copyright doesn't cover the idea. So let's take an example. Let's so say you've developed your app, you show your friends, and someone is just totally blown away by it, and I'm sure they are. How can they deny anything that comes out of your head? But uh, let's say they want to copy it. Uh, can they? Well, they can't use the source code, like we said, it's covered by copyright, but if they're able to reverse engineer, kind of out of luck there. Copyright doesn't protect the idea. So if copyright doesn't really get us anywhere, and I say us because I myself am an app developer as well, and so you were born in the iTunes app store, check it out. So if I can do it, guys, trust me, I am no digital expert. Me and digital technology, all of it, we're like oil and water, and if you follow the legal green room, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, if I can do it, you can definitely do it. We talked about how copyright just doesn't get us anywhere. How about Trademarks. Well, trademark, like we've said before, it covers anything that distinguishes your good, your app, your service from another company. So, your name, your company name, your company logo, design, sound, colors, anything that doesn't cause kind of confusion as to who is the source of the app, then definitely it can be covered under trademark. So, what about patent? Well, patent is like an invention, right? I mean, you see the commercials saying call 1-800-PATENT. I know you know the number. I don't know it right now. But uh, those are basically inventions. If you can show that your app can never and never was created by anyone before, something so new, so unique, then yeah, you can definitely get patent protection there. So, like I said, copyright doesn't really do us much. Trademark doesn't really attach to the app idea. But patent, like I said, is also a tough threshold to meet. So what can you do? Well, you can for sure, and I highly, highly recommend this, you want to for sure have a confidentiality agreement in place with anyone who you reveal about the app. That means investors, so if you're approaching an investor to invest into your idea, make sure that they have some kind of confidentiality agreement in place with you. And if you're looking to outsource your app development, let's say you're not the you know genius when it comes to developing things, as I for sure was not when developing Developing my app, uh, if you're gonna look to outsource, make sure that you not only have the confidentiality agreement in place, but that it also specifically states who owns that source code. Like I said, that is the, the heartbeat of your app. So make sure you own that. And as you do start to develop your app, send me, send me your app. Once it's developed, I want to definitely take a look. Send it on over, and you know, once you've you've made it into the marketplace and you've developed a whole movie saga out of your app you know, come back to the legal green room. Come back and give a little shout out to those little guys out here. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any thoughts on what you want to see next time, just let me know and I'll be sure to make it happen. Thanks again.